Greetings, Commanders! This is Pagan Horde, and we will continue our exploration of Terror from the Void. The complete overhaul of Phoenix Point. Now, if you would please do some YouTube stuff, let's see if we can make it happen. Now, there's quite a few things going on in this playthrough at the same time, so let's make a little recap. We have the Tiamat here with eight soldiers that made the trip to North America and stopped... Uh, not one, but two attack on our bases. We have two attack plane that are empty of soldiers. Their job is to fight uh, the flyers. And we have this group here coming up to pick our mutoid from over here. Alright, and last time we finished the episode, I was wondering what to do with this. And I think the decision would be to, well... Let it go, because the Anus are now fighting New Jericho in complete war. Not much I can do about it. And honestly, it feels like a wee bit stupid to uh, expand resources to change that. Because I am allied with Anu. I don't want to defend these guys. So, ah, I'm gonna let it go. And last but not least, our elite group, which is the original group since the beginning of the game, I am sending them toward uh, South America here, which is an entire place we haven't explored. Uh, and we need to get through this place, explore this place, to reach Australia, where there is uh, not one, but two special missions to do. So, uh, quite a few things, and that's uh, what we're going to try to do. On top of that, I would like to use some of these, uh, our attack plane, which do not have something to fight at the moment, as uh, to maybe do some commerce, because we absolutely need more material. One of the things that I've noticed uh, when not, well, allying with uh, the Anu is that uh, Anu have plenty of food, and it's hard to trade for material. Uh, the people who have the most material for to trade with food are New Jericho, but I cannot because they don't like me anymore, which, uh, yeah. So there's one thing to consider in your own playthrough. Anus are not the best for trade. I mean, I could trade for tech, but tech is a precious resource. But I may have no choice. I may have no choice. Depending on what the city uh, produces, you can see what you can trade for. Now, essentially, you would I would want to be able to trade material for food, a place that uh, does not produce food, like that one. That one, I could trade food for tech. Alright, so I'm going to send one of our attack plane over there. Because it's a long move. What about here? You know, diplomatic relation too low. So we're going to send one of our attack plane there. I will try to find a more place where I can trade for material. Which is not a lot. These guys here might actually like me. Because we just saved their asses. So maybe I can send a Tiamat there. Right, so. This situation. Okay. That's our main base. Uh, we don't have. We didn't lose a soldier here, but I want to trade one of our basic level 1. So that we can use the mutoid. Because I want to use a new ability to launch fireworm, which seems really fun to use. So we're going to do that. Just making sure they are well equipped. Okay, and there's one quest that I can do in this area, which is this here. Grand Theft Auto. So we're going to send this group there. That's the plan. Okay, can I trade with you? Yes, these guys actually like me. 
cool. Or not. Why can't I trade? Because the place is under repair? I'm not gonna raid. Well, I could. Might be an option. If I'm getting really desperate, I might raid. But we're not there yet. Uh. Might need to trade for tech. Alright, well, I'm gonna send a Tiama there to see if this uh, interrogation point is something. We got a Scylla autopsy. Cool. So many research to do. So many research. Explore. Construction complete. Jericho is under attack. Another uh, under attack. Wow. The Anus are really... They might win that one. Okay. Well, I'm uh, I'm not going to participate for, on this for now. Really wish I could trade for more stuff. I'm going to have to trade for tech. Search the site. All right. Got some free material here. I'll take it. Let's keep exploring. Let's open up, try to open up South America. Holy hell, this is escalating really fast. Now Jer new Jerichos are attacking here. Do we intervene then? Or not? Shit. I mean, we do have the Manticore over here that is right next to it on its way there. But if we start taking sides on this human war, barely have enough resources to come to the Pandoran. Should I? Because they're going to lose this fight. No, I'm uh, letting these guys fight. Let them fight, is my choice. Yes, sir. The, the crux of this game is that you... Wow. That's an enemy invasion, you say. It's the Forsaken. The Forsaken is another thing. The Forsaken is a neutral faction. That I'm gonna help. More trade? Yeah, I, I had no choice. Uh, exploration site. Oh, well, material just in time then. Okay. What do we got here? Evan Hanfo. I can recruit a soldier. Okay, so I have some exploration point for the Tiamat as well. All right. So that won't change much for our, for our purposes. Reward 630 material. All right, this is going to do a big difference. Okay, Forsaken, let's go. Everybody here is well equipped enough. But let's remember that this, uh, this group is lower level. So uh, let's be careful about it nonetheless. See you guys in a moment. Okay, kill all enemies, civilian alive, 5 out of 5. Okay, we have 5 civilians to try and keep alive. Uh, two of them being right here in front of us. The others are not clear for no. There's one here. Alright, so it's at least 3 of them are close to our group. There's one standing in the middle. That looks to be a soldier though. Alright. Well, let's try and find out where they are. 
So one thing I can do is use our new Mutoid with Jetpack to go up here. Shredding Barbarian. Leader is Mirkal. Fire Discipline. Enemies within 20 towers have a return fire. Ooh. And that's taught. Okay. Right, so we have one in the corner there. Not an issue for now. We can also put that sniper on top here. Which didn't say, didn't reveal anything. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, willing, and able. Here I am, that's uh, let's keep in mind that these are not uh, the crack troops of some of the other soldiers. We don't have, for example, a uh, Overwatch that can only be used, that can be used with only one point. So we have to be a wee bit more careful in our approach. But so far it looks not a bit calm. Could be just the calm before the storm, of course. Reporting Aha. What do I see? Okay. Oh, there's two of them over there. Uh-huh. Well then. Two of them. Uh, do we have this Mirkal? Indeed we do. With 300 HP and regener regeneration and all the good jazz. All right. So this should be a wee bit more difficult to defeat. Oh, killing the civilian. That's not very nice. Uh, that's a berserker. Okay. My overwatch was the wrong way for that berserker. That worked. Oh, but virus. Virus can really fuck us up. The wheel point and the virus. Okay. Well then, they were behind us all along, it seems. Let's use that fireworm. Plop. So it's not very accurate. And it's one worm or no, I can tour two. There you go. Let's throw some fireworm. Lining up a shot. Alright, so you sir place yourself perfectly in our crosshair. Got a bleeding arm. Nice damage, nice damage. Now the sniper that we put on top here, sadly, uh, that does not have any potential shots. Mm, only if I put you out of cover. What about you, sir? Ah, you can do it. There you go. So, how many HP left? You probably have regeneration and all that. 20 HP left, okay. Oof. I won't try and do that. But I will. Send you a little present. Go back into hiding. You... With your heavy weapon, you won't be able to get a shot unless I use this. Eh. Sniper, you're gonna have to go down.
Yeah, we totally missed the position, the positioning. Never didn't realize they were behind us. Okay, let's hope we don't take much damage through that mistake or the civilian dies. We'll see. Okay, Forsaken. Ah, you're gonna go up to civilians again? Oh no! Oh no, acid grenade. Bastard. You're gonna mind control my worms. Well, that's annoying. You threw your weapon? Sorry, buddy. These bastards are more interested in you than me. Alright, so one of my worm got mind control. I don't know how that works. But I did tr throw two of them, right? So uh, should I should have the control of one? Is that how it works? I don't seem to have control of anything. Okay. Maybe I can only throw one per turn and I uh, overplayed my hand. Alright, well, let's uh, wrap this up. Here. Right, so you are dazed and a right bit there. limited, so I'll just hide you. You are now got the heavy gun on this bastard, so let it rip. at that arm there you go you can now not use your weapon anymore uh, which weapon am I using now crossbow crossbow doesn't do that much damage but it's only one action point to use, so it's always useful as a backup. Well, if the worms don't work that well... Ah, come on. Oh, return fire. Right. Uh. That was not the most efficient turn. Shotgun is probably gonna be a or not. Only eight damage. Wow. That armor must have stopped most of it. I think that's a spitterhead ability. Ooh. Fireworm is giving use against us. Well, not the best start with this ability. Ow. Okay, that's a complete whiff. I'll take it. Well, you can now just take your revenge, I guess. Which would allow us to go boink. So don't mind if I do. There you go. 70 bleeding. I think that will be enough. I think that will be enough. Bleeding is nasty in this game. Alright, so you, Belial, enough of you. Belial, Belial, I'm not sure. Very good. That will be enough for this turn. Eh, let let him bleed. Let him bleed. So the only really last one would be Thoth. 
And I'm gonna try this again. Okay, so that's one. Seems to work. If I throw another, does it make the first one disappear? No, it's just... Oh, if I'm not careful, he's gonna throw it out of the arena and it disappears. Well, okay, lesson learned. Gotta be careful with that not very precise ability because you can throw it out of the arena. Understood. Let's go. Understood. Okay then, so we're just gonna rush him. There's only one left, so not much stress there. Maybe you can get a shot? Indeed you can. Do love disabling arm. Okay, so I have control of this worm now, because we killed... We killed uh, the siren, or the priestess. But I cannot move this turn, since you just lost mind control. Still doing the... okay. Oh, nice hit. It's not very precise, but when it does hit, it kind of looks deadly. Oh, you're going for me, eh? Okay. Well, now it is time to use our fireworm. Enjoy, buddy. Hey. <laughs> 40 burning. I love it. How big is the explosion? Okay, so it wasn't big enough to reach him. But that's all good. I'll be right there. I will just stand in the open now and just let it rip. We are not very stressed at this point. That's a look Maybe we should be if they keep missing this way. I'm, uh, I'm getting there. Have to focus. That is some pretty nifty armor. That's what's happening. In my sights. <sighs> Damn. He's resisting everything. Am I even gonna finish him off? Shake it, baby. I mean, snipers should do it. There you go. Okay, so the new ability, Fireworm. We've learned something important. Don't throw it off the map. Otherwise, it looks fairly interesting. And I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we salvaged the, the Anu Shredding Shotgun. That's pretty neat. Do I have that technology to improve our own shotguns? There's a few people not using the best weapon. We have the Mercy shotgun that is available. Dante Flamethrower, which you haven't used. The Harrower. Harrower. Yeah, that's the one. The shredding shotgun. We're gonna make ourselves two of these. I mean, I've been I was using the iconoclast for some of these guys, but we've seen in that mission that the uh we're not punching through armor enough. Like this thing has a shred of eight. So yeah. Let's make some of that. Let's improve the weapons of that crew. Thunderbird, seven out of seven. Yeah, they, we need to improve their, their stuff a little bit. Matthias. Matthias is now 7. Next shot with the assault rifle. There's double burst and gets plus 30 accuracy. Sounds beautiful. Ignore pain. 
Disabled body function remain functional and cannot panic. That's very clutch. Close quarter evade. Let's give you this as well. This is supposed uh, to repel the mist around a person. So, uh, especially useful for Berserker who wants to dive in. Okay, and Elsa. Let's go for Return Fire. As well as Die Hard. And some mobility. Okay. The Mutoid. Okay, so that's how it works. I cannot heal you normally. You need Mutagen to heal. Understood. But it also means that your healing is instantaneous. After the battle. That's an interesting way to get things done. And I can trade for stuff here. So now I have over 2,000. Okay. Now that I have some resources. We're going to find a way to spend it. Which might be to uh, get that base online. We're going to need to put a base online on, uh, so in the, on the uh, over here. South America. There's also that one on the tip here that is infested. That would help us reach the last continent. Lots of options. So I'm not going to spend all of that right now. I'm going to try and be careful and deal with emergencies as they come. Okay, what do we got here? Wow, everybody's under attack. Oof. I can't participate in that war. We already have too much stuff going on. Nothing useful was found. Okay. The Tiamat can go here. These guys are just regrouping. Okay, these guys do not have a mission for now, so we're going to send them toward here. Research complete. Uh, uh, uh. Antediluvian proto civilization. The soldier gains 10% experience from mission and training. I'll take that. Based on the reconstruction of the Symes, two potential sites that match the description in Symes' note. Okay, two more sites. One of them is uh, over here, which we can access. Okay, we can access that one. One of them is over here, which we can access. Okay. The reason for that was trading. And now I'm going to make you regroup with the other attack plane over there. Okay. Just making sure everybody's on target somewhere. You can stay there. Haven destroyed. A haven got destroyed in their wars. The heretic. Manticore 1 has landed near a small river. An old fishing village. It's abandoned. Ragged she was bleeding from the eyes. You must leave an offering to the new god. Sure. Believers! I am a witness. Your time will come soon. The great worm devours the earth and only the new god can save us. Someone confused. Okay. Well. Ah, so they're fighting over there as well. Can I reach this base? Yes, I can. I believe I will activate this base now. So many attacks going on. It's an all-out war between these guys. And they're not stopping. 
The Grand Theft Auto. We've come up with a simple plan to update the NG Plus weapon rescue system without prejudicing our relationship with New Jericho. Well, that's a bit late. Uh, your team needs to be inserted inside the original perimeter and proceed to an objective on foot. You steal an armored vehicle from the garrison and make their getaway with it. Okay. We present the fact as a raid of an unknown third party as long as we can maintain plausible deniability. Sure, plausible deniability is my specialty. Especially when I make them exploding. Okay, let's roll. Okay, so we have two objectives. One is to download something, and the other is to recover a vehicle. Okay. That looks like an objective for data. Right. Uh, vehicle is as of yet unknown. Right. So these are respawn points, so we're expecting waves of enemy, I would assume. Waves of Pandoran enemy? But this is a new Jericho base, so what am I actually walking into? Unknown for now. So we're gonna take it calmly. Do some overwatches, the whole shebang. Not gonna use a decoy right away. Not until I'm really sure I need it. Elsa, gonna take a look over here. I love I read the vehicle in question. Okay. Okay. So it might be in a situation where we split our crew. Uh, send some people there and send some people to the vehicle. We'll see how it goes. Because these what these usually mean Pandoran, and that's missed. Thus more Pandoran. But we are in a new Jericho base. So I'm not sure yet what I'm dealing with. Until then, let's be careful. We'll figure it out if we need to split people or not. Here's a new mutoid. That's new Jericho that just shot me in the head. Right. Leader is Musk. Using the tactic Retribution. Enemy that attacks any high ranking character becomes marked for death. Very nice. Okay. That's okay. Well, these are hostile. New Jericho is hostile, but there's also Pandoran. What the hell is going on? What am I looking at? Oh, hello. There's Pandorans attacking me as well? What is going on? I don't like this. Our poor dude here is almost dead already. He already had low HP before the start of the mission. And now he get his get head bashed in to start the mission. He's not having a good time. Can I hit this guy with a grenade? I can. So don't mind if I do. And then I can use our new Howarer shotgun. It's super effective. Okay. So that's a good start. And this fellow looks dazed. So we we're probably not going to be very efficient, but we did get shot by him. Damn it, that is a lot. Why do I have to deal with everyone? Okay, well, complaining about it is not going to fix the problem. 
But one thing that I can do is just... There you go. Have you play with a drone spider next turn. Let's see what else we got. Alright, so you can shoot the sniper, sort of, but the sniper uh, is very, very... Uh, got it. But now I'm marked for death. Very nice. This is their leader, right? Now he's bleeding. I hit the, I hit the arm. Okay, so you won't be able to use your Raven. Raven, that's the even more advanced sniper rifle. I wouldn't mind having one of those. It has 50 armor piercing. So armor does not count for this guy. I want it. I need it. Do we go aggressive and try to get, take this guy out? Got a nice bleed. I mean, Elsa here is our highest armor. So I can't afford to risk her a bit. To do absolutely nothing. You, sir. Don't like putting people out in the open, but this is what we have. I want the you to be having a worm problem. Landed on the roof. Okay, so this is a weird start. I'm getting attacked everywhere. Okay, we took one hit, but that's not too bad. Now, this fellow can no longer attack with his rifle. You're shooting at Pandorans. That sounds like a fucking siren. Mind control. That's a siren. Perhaps you should have been worried about the siren, not us. But the dice are cast. I now have a siren to deal with. Okay. Right, that's a lot of Pandorans. The saving grace might be to capture that vehicle. The armadillo can do wonderful damage. Right, so uh, where are we at? We are. We're going to start with this. There you go. So you're not doing too shit too well. Uh, we're going to continue with this. I mean, I have to take you out now. You are mind control. Ah, yeah. oh, come on. Let's Just when it counts. Right, and we do have to get to the objective. I mean, I cannot spend my entire turn just effing around. Alright, so I'm going to send you toward the objective. But we also need to deal with the siren over there and the secondary objective. So yeah, splitting our crew does seem like the only real option, even if I don't like it. I mean, the sirens in that those games are 
so deadly. It will not care that... It doesn't matter if you already have one mind control. How about two or even three? They, they just can land it down one after the other. And sadly, this crew was, was not, is not ready for it. We don't have a virus rifle to um, put a, more easily handle it. Ready to rock. Right, come on. So we're not having a good time right now. But at least this one is down. I'm gonna use a move and kill and move further. Let's send these three toward the objective. Spotted something else. The one in the back. Okay. You, sir. I'm gonna throw more worms. I assume that this blip here is the... The siren. Let's try to uh, figure it out with the worms. Hello. It wasn't. It was a tyrant. Alright, but now I know. This worm here... Hi there. Enjoy, buddy. Alright, so this appears to be a new Jericho dude, but they're at least focusing on the effing Pandoran. There it is. Another mind control. She mind control a worm. Okay. That's an option. More people there. I believe this one is a wee bit panicked. Or is that in still frenzy? Well, the worms are a good target bait, it seems. Nice. Okay, okay. Leave it there, but that's fine. Another one. Is the worm still alive or is it gone? Either way, they were excellent target bait. You ended your turn right there. Okay, okay. We can work with that. That's a lot of enemies. That's a lot of them. Including a dangerous siren. Ah, okay. Well, I was standing out in the open there. That's on me. Another one. Well then, we have our work cut out for us. That's for sure. So, the absolute problem is the Siren. So, we're gonna start with her by using the Shredder Shotgun, which will hopefully do what its namesake says. A return fire, really. So this means that the leader ability of New Jericho works with Pandoran? Because this guy just did a return fire. Uh, like the leader ability. Attacking I ranked means return fire. Finger on the trigger. That's disturbing. Alright. Big guns spoke. I have more big guns for you guys. So the siren is the absolute problem. But I would have to stand out in the open to fire the big gun. Can I exact a wee bit more pain on this side? Indeed. Now the worm is mind control, and uh, but I think it's too far away to do an attack. Alright, you sir, you are also a shotgun wielder. So please... When did you spot? He oh shit, 
He got hit by that. Okay. I mean, as much as the sniper rifles have been doing the big, the lots of the best of the work, these shotguns are uh, starting to uh, be interesting. All right, so I believe that was their ex-leader, right? Yeah, who's now in mind controlled. That's interesting. So you, sir. Let's have a look. I'm afraid you're gonna have to stick around because there's too much enemies. Can you? You cannot reach the siren. And mind you, right now I am giving a lot of freedom. No, I cannot reach unless, no, not even. I'm not targeting at all. The other faction I'm hoping we have some sort of truce now until uh, we deal with all these people hmm. okay let's put a try all right I need to finish the sirens this is uh, this is what uh, this is what happens so I'm gonna have to stand out on the open with our mutoid, which is uh, even less than ideal and not really doable after all. Come on, come on, just enough damage. And that's an 84. Now you have 39 hit points, so you're not gonna die. And you're gonna do massive damage or mind control somebody. this I hate this Yeah, there's no way to get the siren. Very well. Yeah. Siren's gonna do what a siren's gonna do. And it's gonna suck. Alright, so we have a revenant that's gonna ap appear here. So I'm gonna do that. It's gonna suck. Unless... Well, fuck me. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh. Well, that happened. Mr. Musk? He's actually firing against a Pandoran. Oof. Well, I may live to see another day, but our, our person here took a huge beating and with the leg down, that's really not very good. Okay. There goes that. Well, you did your job and you helped. Uh, armor is good. There's another one there. Uh. This mission is brutal. Okay. I'm ready. We need somebody to rush the objective. 
I'm gonna have to send you. That does mean this guy may attack me. So, so I'm gonna get him. Get rid of that. You're not gonna enjoy this either. Get some cover. Yes. Just give the word. Gotcha. Uh. No. Let's put on a decoy. For her. Now would be a good time for that. Not a problem. You, sir, should also go toward the objective. Now, our mutoid is still here. This guy is panicking, so we can not care about it. This fellow can have the big business. Sadly, it is not a kill. You're panicking, you're panicking, which is beautiful. Oh, no. Ugh. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Decoy taking the damage. Love that. Set yourself on fire. Love that too. This one might hurt. <laughs> we turned fire for the kill and now another panic. Okay, we might make out of this... We lost a soldier, but we might still make it out of this alive. So, let's wrap up that leader because the ability seems to... Uh, go toward also the enemy and please tell me that I can know just the pistol ah. let's use the move and kill okay 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 so you are no longer panicking you're still bleeding you're now on fire let's go for that cover here Fight a big gun. That's enough of you. Now we are. We have this to deal with. Let's go do a bash. Okay. It did not kill it. The bash did not go. The bash was not enough. Well, fuck me. The bash was not enough, and now that thing is still alive. Come get some. One hit point. Are you kidding me? Got it. That sucked, but it worked. Area covered. Okay. Oh, you went for melee. Okay. Okay, it's gonna go for melee as well, of course, to get back its HP. Yeah. Objective, go. Yes. Okay, 
second objective, vehicle. Well, these two kind of just Ready. place themselves uh, right next to us. But sadly, I need to reload this with you. I mean, you asked for it. How the fuck did you miss that? Okay, um, blah blah. blah, 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 blah. Going all out now. Okay. And uh, let's reload and try to finish this guy with the pistol. If we can. Not if you miss a point blank pistol shot. Somehow. Yeah, that's not important. Okay, so we got this wretch. We got something else there. Reloading. Gotta start moving forward so that we can go to the vehicle. I mean... Essentially, I think I'm just gonna evacuate this guy. Oh, shield bearer, okay. You were luckily too far for a melee. The wretch. Okay. Ah. Three shots. Of course. Yeah, we're in unlimited reinforcement mode and we need to get out of here. Because uh, this is never going to end at this point. Finger on the trigger. But you know, if you present yourself to a big gun, do not ask why you're dead. Can't take that. Not quite. Okay, that worked. All right, so we have another... Another Minefragger situation. This one is now panic, so we can ignore him for now. Let's hope the Bash does a trick this time. Okay, it did. Okay, okay, okay. Right there. Okay, okay, okay. You get out of there. Now, what you need to do is rush the vehicle and get out of there. Because once we get to the vehicle, I can put everybody inside the vehicle and hightail it. I mean, a sense of pattern here. No words needed. Right. So. At least they're... If they're alone by themselves, they're easy to deal with. It's uh, when you have a lot of them that they're a big force multiplier. Alright, so lesson learned, it means a lighter, the weapon you use, like a pistol, it would not necessarily kill it. Lesson learned. On my way. But it does make us waste time. Can you get the vehicle work working? Yes, you can. And lo and behold, there's another one right there. Baka you. All right, so I need to put the soldiers inside, so I'm going to move you a bit closer. 
And hopefully get everybody inside next turn. Now there could be... <sighs> More reinforcements. Now he's too far away for Vash. Ah, uh, maybe not. Get it on the inside. Maybe loot what's over here. Is there something interesting on the floor? Yes, sir. The Piranha AR-451. 40 damage, 15 armor piercing. I did not have that one. Watch out, I'm moving in. Need one action point. Okay. Well, hopefully I'll be able to get it next turn. Okay, unless there's a... At least it's not a mind fragger. I'm prepared. I'm on the move. I'm listening. Honestly, the hardest part about that mission is getting the vehicle. If it was just the first objective and run, we would have been fine. You gonna tell me that you're full now? Probably. Alright, but that's not a big deal because this guy can jump. Now you, sir... not even gonna bother we're gonna go go toward the extraction there right so you're melee not a big deal I'm gonna deploy your shield our jumper here is just gonna cover all of that One to run toward the extract. And the vehicle. You're getting out. Just a melee. No problem. Okay. I think we finally made it out. Oof. This was a mess. This was a complete mess where we lost a soldier, which isn't great. Everyone is injured. But we did get at least an AR-51, which we, we didn't have. Uh, we don't have the, extre the best technology of these guys, the armor-pursing one. All right, so general mission... Three skill point. I'll see you in a moment. Okay. We succeeded in our mission despite the unexpected appearance of Pandoran on the scene. Now we decided to on our response to Jericho. Proving that Anu instigated the, parent, the Pandoran did it all of it. Sure. Cunning and Dilbert would need more better weapon. Wes is right. Okay. Okay, so this was rough. It was always going to be a difficult mission with uh, an inex inexperienced crew. We did get it done, but at a cost. I mean, we have plenty of food and we could simply recruit this soldier, which is what I think I'll do. I'm gonna move there to recruit this soldier and then uh, send these guys on a break. They deserve it. So the Manticore here keeps exploring. That's good, that's good. We're gonna open this base to start uh, the sweeping around and find out what it is. These guys are just regrouping. This guy, These guys are just searching. All right, that's gonna have to be it with, for this one, guys. The second mission took a little while and it was a little crazy. A very messy situation. Uh, to be honest, I was not really ready for it. 
So let me know what you think. Uh, please do some YouTube stuff. Any buttons will do. And I will see you next time. Thank you.